Hey everyone, welcome to my studio. Before I begin working on this commission project, I want to update you on what's going on with it. So I sent this, an image of this to the client and the feedback was that she wants a paler yellow on the petals. So I'm, I'm going to leave these, but I'm going to be working much paler yellows into the petals that are up above. I have already used some pretty pale glass in these bottom ones, but these will be the brightest ones. I might use maybe one more piece of this over in here, but, uh, but that'll be it for that really bright one. I went to my, I already had this, uh, so that's what I had been using. But I went to my scrap bins to look for some paler yellow. And this was about all I had. So I was really excited when I found this. Isn't this beautiful? It has a beautiful texture on one side. It's pale. It's got lovely yellow color, but it also has the brightness of that white. So uh, I'm going to be using, um, I'm going to cut some of this up into the feather cuts and I'll be using this on both sides, both the textured and, and the back. <music> going to discontinue the very very darks that I had planned to put up all the way on those petals and transition uh, between the dark darks and the pale pale yellow with some medium tones uh, so that it's not so abrupt. <music> to head over to the art place where we're working on the community mosaic project. This is the second time we're working on it and there are three students and myself. Here we go. this group project online called Hanging by a Thread Mosaic for the Equality of Afghan Women. And basically it is to create a scarf of the patterns that are found in Afghan women's traditional clothing. And uh, the collective work is supposed to represent the resilience of Afghan culture beyond its own borders since it has been taken over by the Taliban in August of 2021. So the Restrictions are that it needs to be 25 centimeters by 10 centimeters. 
made mainly with glass and the direct technique on mesh with mortar, with or without grout. It says you can use small tea, stained glass, recycled glass, and glass fusions. So I have made the template and then the next step will be to cover or to make draw a pattern on there if I so desire, then cover that with contact paper and then tape down mesh, then using thin set as your adhesive, glue the pieces on. So I, I made the template for myself and for my students so that we could participate. And I have already completed this piece. So today I am just going to be grouting it. And when I'm finished grouting this one, I am going to grout this little butterfly that I made with some more of that donated blue mirror glass. I think I made some more, some previous ones with orange mirror, but I also had some blue mirror, so I decided to make a blue one. That's it. And I will include a link in the description to the Facebook page of the Afghan Hanging by a Thread project. That's it. on the butterfly. His body I've built up with epoxy sculpt and I'll be painting it afterwards. So after I clean up all the grout, then I will paint the body. And I embedded these little antenna in the epoxy when I put the epoxy on there. have two small projects to grout at the same time because while I'm cleaning one the other one can be developing a haze so I can kind of go back and forth and not waste my time I like it to add the beads to the petals so that they reflect the center a little bit and there's a relationship between the center and the petals. But whereas here the beads are the star of the show, out here they are just more of an accent and the glass is the star of the show. So I'll just be adding a few. I like to add them in the areas between the lighter and darker. So that's why right now is a great time to add them. I have a variety of beads I pulled in golds and yellows on the light side, but with a few of the darker golds in there. So here's some of what I will be adding. Again, I will be using E6000 to do so. Most of my beads I have picked up from Michaels and Hobby Lobby and craft stores like those, but these I picked up at a recent bead and mineral show, and I will link in the description up above. Bead that is that perfect color of yellow that I'm looking for but it is a millefiori bead with the flower in it. And I don't want that flower to be the side that goes up. 
And I also, there's a hole because it's a bead. I don't want the hole to be up. So I'm cutting them in half so that I can put the yellow side up with just a touch of that white showing. I think that's absolutely beautiful. And then they're not too tall also. They're, they lay a little, they lay flat. They're easier to glue and they're not so big. So that's, that's it on that. I just line my wheel dumpers up with the hole that's on the bead and give it a squeeze. There it is, cut in half, and then I can put the cut side down. Appalachian sunrise meets my skin. Even with my eyes still closed, I can feel it. Golden, golden, I'll follow only golden, 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 golden things. Mountain laurel high fives for miles in spring. Rainbow trout and hummingbird. at it from across the room. I did go with some much paler yellows in around uh, the rest of these petals, but these few down here are really still popping, just a little bit too much for me. So I think I'm actually going to lift some of the bright, bright yellow that's on the tip and replace with the pale yellow, just to tie them in more to those other petals so they don't stand out like that. The weld bond that I used is water soluble, so I am just going to Spritz these little tips 
and wait a few minutes and then I'll pry off the pieces and replace them with some paler yellows. That's it. So I'll be sending this to the client to see what she says. That's it. That's putting it together. Thanks for watching. See you next time.